Oh my god. Ugh, I feel like my skin looks so bad right now. It just looks so oily. Very interesting. I did not expect this at all. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I used Castile soap as face wash. And in this video, I am gonna be showing you what happened to my skin and whether or not I love or hate Castile soap as face wash. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make beauty videos, so if you want to see more of those, make sure you subscribe. So now, without further ado, let me spill some of the tea on Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and Castile soap in general is made of vegetable oils. So for Dr. Bronner's in particular, there is a list of ingredients which I will put on the screen here, but the main ingredients are olive oil, jojoba oil, and coconut oil. So that differs from your typical soap and cleanser because of the fact that it is made of vegetable oils, which soaps typically are not made of vegetable oils. So Castile soap has so many different uses. You can literally use it to clean your pet, you can use it to clean your laundry, your dishes, your body, everything. And apparently it is really good for washing your face with, especially those with acne prone skin. Apparently when you wash your face with it, it helps to remove excess keratin, sebum, makeup, and anything else on your skin that may clog your pores and lead to acne. I will link this in the description below if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. Now that I just gave you guys the 411 on Castile soap, we're now gonna start the video and you guys are about to see what happened to my skin as I used Castile soap as face wash and I am losing my voice. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, so it is a p.m. I don't know why I just said that. It is nighttime. I'm about to switch it up tonight. Instead of using Dove soap, I'm going to be using Castile soap and before I actually get into using the Castile soap on my skin I really quickly want to do like a skin update to show you guys how My skin has been looking as of lately. So my skin has actually been looking pretty good recently As you guys can see I don't have any like of those little whiteheads or small pimples that I sometimes get what I do have though are these like big, almost like cystic pimples here and then I have a few right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And then I also have a few here. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, I was just about to smell it, but I know that it is unscented. It's not gonna have a scent. This is the one that was recommended to use on your face on the website if you've never used Castile soap on your face before. So I'm also pretty sure that you really only need the tiniest bit of this soap. It literally doesn't smell like anything. Nothing. All right, the tiniest bit. It's super liquidy, so I just, I don't understand how this is gonna work. It's like, all right, I think that's good. You guys probably can't even see how much I put. Do you guys see? It's like the tiniest amount. All right, now let's zoom in so you guys can see up close. I'm kind of nervous for some reason. Interesting. Oh my gosh, very interesting. I did not expect this at all. It has a very slight smell, but it's, I think you would have to have like a very good sense of smell to smell it. All right, I'm gonna go rinse this off and then I will come back and let you guys know what I think. This is a little bit unfortunate because I hope that this does not end the same way, but it reminds me a little bit of African black soap. And it also has similar ingredients to African black soap. If you guys did not see that video, I made trying African black soap it just did not end well. The interesting thing with this soap is it looks like it would be very ineffective. It's extremely liquidy in the bottle. It's natural, so you don't think that it's going to work that effectively, but wow, it completely cleaned my skin. 
One of the things that reminds me of African black soap about Castile soap is that as I was rinsing it off my face, my face felt irritated. It was starting to sting a little bit. My eyes were starting to sting. And that is exactly what happened with the African black soap. So it's very drying as well. I have oily combination skin, so that's not a necessarily a terrible thing for my skin but I don't usually like something that is this drying. So now I'm about to moisturize. I use jojoba oil and tea tree oil. This is my magical combo and hopefully it will add some moisture back into my skin after using that soap, which really surprised me. All right, so I do feel like I look more red than usual after applying those oils and I do think it's because the Castile soap seems extremely harsh. It's ironic because I would have expected the opposite. Basically on the side, I'm seeing here that it says to dilute it. One small squirt applied to a wet washcloth to wash hands, face, and body. So on the website, it doesn't mention anything about putting it on a washcloth when it comes to washing your face. So I think the next time that I use this, which will be tomorrow morning, I'm gonna use a really, really small drop. I'm gonna let this sit and hopefully this will work well. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning for my next skin update. Good morning, guys. I want to update you on how my skin is doing the morning after using Castile soap. Basically, my skin feels really oily this morning. I do have combination skin that leans more on the oily side, so that's not extremely shocking to me that I have oily skin this morning, but it's just surprising because my skin is usually not this oily in the morning. Also, I woke up with like a really painful pimple right here and the acne that's like right here and right here is really itchy this morning and irritating and I really want to itch it, but I know I shouldn't touch it and I don't even know what is causing it, but the Castile soap, although I used it only once, I don't really think it did much for my acne. And then finally, my lips are so incredibly dry and I've really been wanting to put chapstick or Vaseline on them, but I've waited so that you guys can see what it looks like. So see how dry they are and then how oily my skin looks. I've been reading more about Castile soap this morning and I've read that for a lot of people it is an irritating soap. It messes a lot of people's like moisture barrier, moisture levels on their skin up, mainly because of the high pH that the soap has. So I realized that I definitely think I used way too much of the Castile soap last night, which is potentially why it seems to have really irritated my skin. So this morning when I use it again, I am only gonna use the tiniest drop. I always feel like if I don't use a good amount of soap, a good amount of soap, that it's not gonna clean my skin. But from what I've read with Castile soap, it is such a powerful soap that you only need the tiniest amount. And even if it doesn't appear to be lathering a crazy amount on your face that doesn't matter because it's still cleaning your skin i've also read that using witch hazel after washing your face with castile soap is a really good idea i did not try that yesterday but i'm gonna try that today so i'm gonna go wash my face now and then i am going to switch up my moisturizer and try using witch hazel and then we will see how my skin does with that so Okay, well, apparently, I feel like I sound like that kid from that video, but apparently I have lost everything and I can't find a single thing. So, can't find my witch hazel, but that's okay because I don't use it every day anyway. And if the Castile soap is irritating for my skin, is witch hazel really 
gonna do much I don't know so anyway I'm gonna moisturize I'm using the Cetaphil moisturizing cream which I love oh my god Ugh, I feel like my skin looks so bad right now it just looks so oily wow okay so basically i was going to film a separate video trying this soap out for a week the video you're watching was only intended and is only intended to be a day review like a first impression review i'm no longer going to film the other video i was going to film where i try it for a week because i do not like this soap and i cannot put my skin through that for a week so i used literally one drop of castile soap i don't know if you guys caught that but it was one drop the soap is incredibly strong and i completely underestimated the strength of it one drop was more than enough and my skin still felt irritated another thing is i thought about it and this soap can be used to clean pretty much anything surfaces your toilet your clothes your body is that really something that i should be putting on my face i know it's natural but i don't like that argument because there are so many things in nature that are poisonous i'm not saying that this is poisonous i'm just saying that using something just because it's natural is not a good enough reason the one thing that i do like about this is how it feels when you wash your face so it feels soapy like a regular soap does like it feels bubbly and it feels like you're cleaning your skin but it also feels a little bit oily and smooth if that makes sense which can be explained by the fact that there are a ton of vegetable oils in the soap but once i start to rinse it off my face my skin automatically starts to feel irritated so as far as acne goes i'm certainly not expecting overnight results i think that's nearly impossible but the fact that i woke up with more acne than i went to sleep with or more painful acne that i went to sleep with is kind of telling i don't know if it necessarily caused the acne but it certainly didn't help but that's another reason why i just will not use this i just cannot look at my face in the viewfinder i feel like i look so oily right now i will do an update in like six hours to show you guys what my skin looks like because i'm hoping that this oil will go down it's just so oh my Ugh. so i will see you guys then hey guys so this is what my skin looks like almost eight hours after washing it all in all i do not like this soap as a facial cleanser or facial soap it's just not for my skin at all but as it says on the website there are going to be some people that find it useful i realized obviously i'm not going to be using this on my face anymore so because i have this bottle i wanted to put it to some other use i actually spilled something on my couch i put a tiny drop of this on a wet washcloth and washed it away off my couch so this is extremely useful and versatile so if you try it and it doesn't work for your skin then you will definitely be able to put it to good use so yeah my skin just looks incredible incredibly oily i am about to go wash it with my regular dove soap and then use my regular moisturizer i'm definitely not a fan um, but you may find that it is useful for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you want to see further skincare reviews you can click right here to see my review on dove soap and you can click right here to see my review on shea butter you can also click here to subscribe to my channel so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys next time